You're with me all the time, helping me believe. Don't wanna waste this life. You have given me now. Make a little, doesn't matter. You are with me, God. I decided I will find out anywhere you want. Oh, you're never gonna let me go. Never ever gonna let me go. I'm giving in my heart. Responsibility. While we take a look at the most important thing of all time. If you were a fish, which one of these would you choose? Hmm. Maybe that's not the most important thing of all time. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. We're talking about responsibility. Which is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. I expect you're gonna tell me what these are about? Aquarium plants. Wait, you got a fish? I got a fish. For Christmas? Christmas will live on all year in my new ichthyoid friend. Ichthyoid means fish-like. Fish are super easy to take care of, right? I mean, aquarium, fish food, done. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's not that simple? Let's just say that taking care of a fish looks a bit more like this. I can't even, you need all of this for one tiny fish? One tiny fish, AKA Finn. Finn, meet Carter, Carter, Finn. Finn, huh? Yeah, pretty good, right? Nah, but I see what you did there. What does all this stuff do? Oh, uh, well, the water conditioner removes metals and chlorine from the water. And betas are tropical fish, so this guy needs a heater to keep the water warm. And of course, you've got to check the water temperature. Isn't that a meat thermometer? It works really well. But mom did use this to check some baked salmon the other day, so... That does not seem right. Finn is a super picky eater, so I give him bloodworms as a treat. <sighs> but he is super cute. Aquarium test strips? Okay, see, this is the complicated part. It wasn't complicated already? When you first set up an aquarium, it has to cycle. That cannot mean what I'm thinking. The tank has to establish a nitrogen cycle. See, fish waste and extra food decompose, creating ammonia. 
Ammonia is poisonous to fish, but over time, good bacteria grow inside your aquarium. They break down the ammonia into nitrite and nitrate, which still aren't great for your fish. But when algae grows in your tank, it eats the nitrate as food. So how long does it take for this whole nitrogen cycle thing to work? Two months. Two months? How's Finn going to make it? Well, I gotta test for nitrogen and ammonia every day and do lots of water changes. That sounds like a lot of work. Finn is totally worth it, I think. Well, I certainly hope little fish face here feels the love. Speaking of love, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today, we're in the book of Matthew. Matthew is one of four books called the Gospels. These books tell stories from the life of Jesus. Matthew was written down by, you guessed it, Matthew, one of Jesus' followers, a tax collector whose life was turned upside down by his friendship with Jesus. When Jesus was about 30 years old, he began to travel from town to town, teaching and healing. Everywhere Jesus went, big crowds gathered. Some people were desperate to be made well. Others came to hear his teaching. But the religious leaders were troubled by Jesus and feared that he would change things. So some of the leaders tried to trap Jesus. They asked him trick questions, hoping to prove him wrong or stir up the crowds. But Jesus always knew the wise way to respond. Which is where our story starts. Hey, hey everyone, I'm Brian. So the religious leaders had become more and more worried about Jesus and his teaching. When Jesus entered Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover festival, great crowds welcomed him as a king. So those religious leaders began making plans to arrest him and uh, amped up their attempts to trick him. Who told you to do all these things? Yeah, what gives you the right? In every case, Jesus avoided their traps and gave wise answers. When one group of leaders failed to catch Jesus in his own words, another group, the Pharisees, decided to give it a try. One of their best law experts stepped up to test Jesus. The teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law? Ha! Whichever rule Jesus picks as the most important, he'll have to leave out the other 612 laws. Then we can get everyone mad at him for choosing the wrong one. Yes. I love it when a plan comes together. But Jesus just answered wisely once again. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the Law and the Prophets is based on these two commandments. Okay, you see the amazing thing Jesus did there? He said that when you show love to God and show love to people, you will also be following all the other laws. If you love God and love others, you'll grow in telling the truth, in obeying your parents, in treating others well. Jesus didn't leave anything out. He included every single law in those first two. Love God, love others. It's that simple. But that doesn't mean it's easy all the time. See, God doesn't want us to just check off a list of rules every day. Hey, what do I do now? When we follow Jesus, God sends the Holy Spirit to be with us and guide us. Over time, we can learn to listen and discover fresh ways each day to love God and love others. There are unlimited ways we can do that. But here's a place to start. You can show love to God by spending time with God. You can read God's word in the Bible and tell God about all the great things and all the hard things in your life. One of the most amazing ways we can show love to God is actually by showing love to others, people made in God's very own image. You can show love to others by sharing what you have. And this might be your stuff, but it could also be your time, your listening ear, or your ideas and your creativity. You can show love by working hard to help others, your parents, siblings, friends, teacher, anybody you see who needs your help. You can also show love by using your words wisely to encourage others. Let's take a look at Jesus' words one more time. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. 
This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the Law and the Prophets is based on these two commandments. Just as Jesus said, when we focus on those two commandments, we can know that we are following all of God's laws. The end. Wow, Jesus made it so simple, but so not easy. Exactly, being in right relationship with God isn't about a bunch of rules. So what's our part in the story? We're designed to need God moment by moment, so we can discover what it looks like to love God and love others. There are several awesome ways to show love to God. The first is giving God your time. You can read God's words recorded in the Bible. And you can tell God anything that's on your heart or mind. You can even sing to God. Yeah, that's right. Another awesome way to show love to God is to love others. And this is where you have to really pay attention because Everybody's different. We all enjoy gifts, but some people feel extra loved if you make them a card or bake them cookies. Some people feel loved when you hang out with them and spend time doing their favorite stuff. For reals, my dad likes to fish, which is not my thing, but I do it anyway because I know it's super important to him. There are some people who feel most loved with a high five or a hug. And some people most need you to encourage them and say something you appreciate about them. There are also people who really feel loved when you do something for them. Like when you unload the dishwasher when it's your brother's turn. Or make sandwiches for dinner so your mom or dad don't have to cook. Just use your imagination. There's always some way that you can show love to God and to others. See you next time. So, here's the thing. Love God and love others. And love the creatures God made. Can we feed them again? No way, no how. But it was really fun to watch him slurp those worms up like spaghetti. Never overfeed a fish. But we can entertain him. Oh. With my new beta playlist. Look, he's dancing, he's grooving. Look. Go fish! Go fish! Oh, that's right. Oh. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See, See you, you next time. Go fish. Look, he's going to spin. Is it Finn and oh, Finn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, see? you just got it? That's right. That's why you... Okay. Now I do.